My name is Grant Watson. I am from New Zealand. And I grew up in a, in a Christian home where both my parents were believers. Uh, my dad is just a good, good man. And my mother, is just, she's an excellent wife and a mother. And it was under their roof that, that I learned that there was a creator God, that his word, the Bible, is true, and that his son, Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ, is the savior of all men, that he died and, uh, and was resurrected for the forgiveness of sins. But even though I, I grew up knowing all of that, I didn't know Christ. And that stayed that way until about my early 20s, where God chose to then reveal to me, open my eyes through his word, my own sinfulness in light of who he is. And that he showed me that Christ died for the penalty of, of my sin. And that in Christ there is reconciliation and there, is, there was forgiveness for me. whom God gave grace to trust in Christ and to believe in him. And then sometime after that, uh, two men came out to New Zealand, connected with the Grace Community Church and the Master's Seminary. And uh, they preached some sermons that greatly affected me. Uh, one of them preached on 1 Timothy 4.7, discipline yourself for godliness. The other preached on the purpose of the church, which I didn't realize the church had a purpose. And so the first sermon on a godly man kind of stirred in me a desire to be that. I wanted to be a godly man. I wanted to be devoted to God to do what he would have me do. And the second sermon kind of stirred in me a desire to want to see the church in my home country in New Zealand be all that, that the Lord desires his church to be for his glory. And so the years after that, it was, it was just serving in a local church, growing and developing in my own convictions through the word of God, through the teaching of his word, until the opportunity and time came to come here to the Master Seminary. And while here I've been told that the seminary is the best in the world, I came primarily because of one reason, and, and that simply was relationships. Because the people that the Lord had used to grow me, to mature me, to uh, help me understand truth, were in some way connected to the Master's Seminary. I had uh, learnt their theology from them and agreed with it. I had seen and experienced their faithfulness and their fruitfulness in ministry, and it, it just seemed wrong to go anywhere else. And so my family and I, we left New Zealand and we came here to attend the seminary. And our time here has, it really has been a great blessing. And God has been so faithful to give me three years of, of trials for every year. And I think through it all, God has shown me that he is more abundantly gracious and faithful than I had ever known him to be. And, and for that, I have absolutely no regrets for the things that he's He's brought us through in his goodness and his mercy. He has been the heavenly father that Jesus has spoken of in Matthew 6 to us. Every bit of it. He has cared for us. He has provided for us. I won't give illustrations because they really are so numerous. But he has sustained us in every way through his word and through the fellowship of the people, both, both here in America and, and abroad, that as a family, we are really just amazed at his goodness. For future ministry, uh, we're going back home to New Zealand. We're really excited about getting home. And we're going to serve alongside a team as grad there who's serving in a church. And, and we're looking forward to that opportunity that God has, has given us by grace. And before I close, I, I really want to uh, publicly thank my wife, Kirsty, and uh, And my children who have sacrificed a lot to come here. So uh, Leah, Caleb, Aaron, Scott, Benjamin, I'm thankful for God's grace and for your contentment and thankfulness to be satisfied with what he has provided and to go without. And uh, to my beautiful wife, Kirsty, uh, I'm so thankful for your endurance, for your steadfast love, for your friendship, for your fellowship. I, I love life with you. I so love life with you. And I'm so grateful to our Father who has, has given us this relationship. And I'm, I'm thankful to him for his provision, 
for his guidance, for his sustaining us. He is, he is our Heavenly Father. Thank you.